Grundomat pneumatic piercing tools have been providing accurate horizontal bores beneath roads, railways, and landscaping for over 50 years. The Grundomat piercing tool can perform accurate horizontal bores up to 150 feet in length and can be easily configured to pull in a wide variety of new pipe materials. Read, understand, and observe all safety information and instructions in this video, the printed manual, and on safety decals on the Grundomat piercing tool itself. This video is to be used in conjunction with the printed Grundomat operations and maintenance manual. Excavate launch and exit pits. Pits should be sloped or shored to conform with local safety codes. The minimum depth specification for pit construction is 10 times the tool diameter. Before excavating the pits and starting the bore, the Utility 1 call number must be contacted so that any utility lines can be located and marked in the area. Fill the lubricator with Grundo oil. Grundo oil is a high quality pneumatic lubricant, essential for optimum piercing tool performance, and supplied to the tool through the inline lubricator. Grundo oil prevents water vapor from freezing inside the tool and is completely safe, biodegradable, and has no harmful effect on rubber hoses. Uncoil the hoses. Connect the hoses to the lubricator and the air compressor. Make sure that the couplings are securely interlocked and safety rings tightened. Start the compressor and check pressure. Clear the hoses with air before connecting them to the grundomat to remove any dirt, debris, or other contamination. Pre-lubricate the tool. A quantity of Grundo oil, about 4 ounces, can be added to the tool's air hose before operations. This will help ensure smooth starting. Connect the air hose to the tool and tape the connection. Make sure that the couplings are securely interlocked and the safety rings tightened. Wrap the connection with adhesive or electrical tape to keep dirt from getting into the air line. After determining the length of the bore, mark the air hose at regular intervals with tape in order to monitor bore progress. Place the starting cradle in the launch pit. The starting cradle helps provide precise grade and direction alignment. To use the starting cradle, position it with the roller toward the starting pit wall. Next, secure the launch cradle by driving the anchor stakes in place. Position the grundle mat on the starting cradle so that the front third of the tool is centered on the cradle. Check the level of the tool using a smart level. Align the tool utilizing the grundoscope aiming frame and stake. While using the grundoscope, the starting cradle can be adjusted both vertically and horizontally with the adjusting screws. For small diameter bores, the grundomat can be launched from the bottom of the pit without a cradle. A level is used to set the level or grade. The grundoscope can be used to ensure alignment of the bore. Start the compressor and check pressure. The grundomat should be operated at a maximum of 100 psi. Adjust oil flow on the lubricator per the diameter of the tool. The flow of the oil can be varied by turning the adjustment knob to one of five settings on the top of the lubricator. The lubricator should be checked daily to ensure that it contains an adequate supply of oil. Reference the lubrication chart to match the setting with the tool size. Use a quick surge of air pressure to start the tool. Then throttle the tool back for boring. Once the tool has entered the soil, stop and check the alignment. Adjust if necessary and continue boring operations. The patented reciprocating step cone chisel head helps ensure maximum boring accuracy. The grundle mat can be easily reversed. 5 through 7 inch diameter grundle mats are equipped with a patented reverse mechanism that allows users to reverse the tool during the bore by adjusting a lever on the lubricator control system. Smaller diameter grundle mats are easily reversed by turning the air hose a quarter turn while in operation. Mm -hmm. 
During operations, monitor bore progress and check hoses regularly. Upon bore completion, turn off the compressor and bleed off the air pressure. Disconnect the tool from the air hose and make sure to cover the end of the tool using the blue cap to prevent any tool contamination. Using the air hose to facilitate installation of the new pipe is a common pipe installation method. Attach a threaded pipe pulling adapter to the product pipe, then connect it to the air hose. Pull the new pipe in place while pulling out the air hose. Depending on soil conditions and the specific application, a variety of attachments, tool heads, and pipe pulling and pushing adapters are available for the Grundomat. 